All right, the Dolphins are now on the clock. Okay, it's the Lions now on the clock. On the clock now, it's the Dolphins, and time is ticking. It's the Lions now on the clock. Okay, next up, it's the Dolphins on the clock. All right, on the clock now, the Lions. The Dolphins now on the clock. The Lions on the clock now. And now we turn to the Jets. It's their selection. The Lions on the clock now. What direction will they go?
Tonight, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's a special Friday edition of the NFL. Second drive of the game, first for this offense, and they have it in a tough spot, backed up toward their own goal line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll buy some time right. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They're going to look to throw. Being chased out left. And Ingram holds it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. Back to throw now on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Second and six. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rush would just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the Lions are going to take a 3 nothing lead. test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? And again, it's Allen. Forced out to his left. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and ten inside the red zone. Rolling to his right. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Lions add on to their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver. Successful. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Again, he'll drop to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here. This offense has been sustaining a nice, long, successful drive here. Now they're looking to finish it off. First and goal in the red zone. Back to throw again. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. To throw on third down, Richards. He finds his man complete. It's Webster. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Gets through, and now an opening. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. I thought he did a nice job there of reading the coverage and realizing he didn't have anything downfield. So what quarterback doesn't love having a running back who's a terrific safety valve that he can dump the ball off? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. On the ground with a tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the... A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Steps away to his left. Well, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 79 yards rushing for him now on seven. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden. Jones Shorty. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Time to see if the game plan this offense has put together will be successful or not as they take over here early in this first quarter of play. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dancing to his left. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Lions are on the board here first in the season opener. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy for A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. Wilson now to throw on third down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Touchdown, Jets! Elijah Moore, 29 yards. And the Jets are... This offense has marched the ball down the field nicely. In good position, can they finish the drive off? First and 10 in the red zone. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Sliding up. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. 
Webb. And the Lions have taken the lead. He was able to move around and found some vision. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. On third down, Wilson. Shorts has got it. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Now the Jets will call on the field goal unit here. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on down. Let's jump back into the action with this defense up against a first and 10 at the 11. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. Let's jump back into the action with this defense up against a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Webster. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. They'll look to throw again. Finding room to the 20. Touchdown, Detroit! A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions will extend their lead here just before halftime. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August. A third down situation coming up in the third quarter in this defense, hoping to turn that third down into four. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Space to run past the 20. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. These... They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Lions are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really... The offense is in the red zone. It's a first and 10 situation at the 15-yard line. 
On first down, Wheeler. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Wheeler. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. They'll set up a throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. Well, I guess an intercept. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Open man right side is Ingram. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Lions, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew...
today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the defense did their job. They didn't allow any points on the opening drive. Now second drive of the game. First for this offense. And what can they do with their go around? to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The play-action fake, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And in for the Lions, touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown. Let's get back into the action. The situation, ball in the red zone. It's second down, and the defense needing to step up. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. On second down now, Britton. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up a run to dart ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Gonna give this time to the tailback. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. The Titans on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and nine. He's gonna be sacked back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. So now the Titans are gonna call upon their field goal unit here. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. Butker's kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Red 
red zone update. This defense stacked up here with a first and 10 inside the 15. They'll run on first down. Britton, and he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. and goal and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there brings up second down here's jackson to throw got a man and it's taken in for a titans touchdown a great play there his the lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there. 47 yards. And the Lions on just two plays have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I... We have a developing situation here. Following the interception, a golden chance for points as the offense is back out there with a first and goal to go. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wheeler. Down at the two. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Touchdown! From four yards out. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to commute. A third down situation coming up in the third quarter in this defense, hoping to turn that third down into four. Out of the gun now on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. For many people, that's not your standard play call. Now. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great work. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great effort there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Lions are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. 
That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis. Interception, return for touchdown. Door closed. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. On the move to his left. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Out to his left. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are... A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that... Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Detroit, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head home next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Jones Shorty.
tonight from Ford Field in Detroit. Still scoreless here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. Okay, time to hop back into this one. It's a red zone alert with a first and 10 upcoming down at the 13-yard line. On first down, Tatum. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. They'll look to throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Down the numbers. There he goes. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great play there. With his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions continue to pull away here in this first half. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. It's a... So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Oh, he's got a little daylight, and he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. zone now they'll look to throw they'll buy some time right and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down so second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit they'll look to throw and he will be brought down at about the six yard line a whole lot of open space out in front of it, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took advantage of it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he takes this one in for a line. Touchdown! A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead.
fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Defense. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Lions, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Seattle...
today. It's the National Football League. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Detroit Lions, they look ready to go on offense as we drop you in and get set for the first possession of this contest. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. A fourth down coming up. Decision time now as this would be a long field goal attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. This offense has the lead here in the first quarter. Now they're looking to extend that lead down in field goal range. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and 10 inside the red zone. They'll run on first down. Wheeler powers past him at the five. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. You use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Jack Fox now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's taken down inside the 30. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
A gain of six there on first. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. A big play coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? He'll drop to throw. They'll roll him out right. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Rolling to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now he'll look to throw here. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. They get to it for a loss of four. And it brings up third down on the sand. Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Wheeler. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So no gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. And his kick is indeed good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. Zone alert. Let's jump back in here. First and 10 at the 16. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Their mobile quarterback with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Lions are about to make it four straight as they... A well, field goal does them no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. A well, field goal does them no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. score game seven points here in the fourth quarter this offense they need to get the football back on this onside kick and this is going to be recovered by the hand team and that should just about put a capper on this one well fourth quarter they felt like they needed the football back unfortunately they couldn't get it so this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for Detroit, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to Lambeau to take on the Packers. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, 
They'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The Detroit Lions, they look ready to go on offense as we drop you in and get set for the first possession of this contest. took advantage of it give him seven there on the first down carry these are his numbers from last week's contest 18 carries 78 yards and a touchdown and as we discovered in talking with the coaching staff prior to the game going up against a team that struggled against the run has only emboldened them to run the football more i expect 40 to 50 carries in this game and he'll get this up to the 30 yard line well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They'll drop to throw, steps away. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL.
This defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard, but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play? They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Micah Parsons make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and ten in the red zone. They'll look to throw here on first down. Forced out to his left. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Looking to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And his kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now the question, what do you do here? Time, not really an issue. You got over a minute, but you figure from this spot, you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here. Don't end up in the end zone. Ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion, or maybe even six if you can't get on it and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play but you know there's some really upset defenders on that one they thought that they had him instead he was coated in teflon and got away good strong throw and catch right there and so far in this game the alleys have been open for them to get completions and they're taking advantage of it back to throw on the move to his left now he'll let it go on the run deep left side and that's caught inside the 35 now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Back to throw here. Flush to his right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. So we have reached halftime with a visiting line. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Takes it at the seventh. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. have been hard to come by in this one and it's the third quarter defenses have reigned supreme can the defense reign supreme once more on third down let's find out sliding out of the pocket 
And that will be incomplete. So that was an interesting look there because... defense in a little bit of a tight spot here. The ball is inside the red zone. Second down at six. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. You caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit. He's got his man. It's caught for a Ryan touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little. Time to hop in as this defense will need to make a red zone stop, starting with his second and four. Out to his left. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. They're going to look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, it's Wheeler, and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. But that may no hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. On fourth down, he'll try and run for it. And try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. They had to go. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. He finds his man complete. That's Wheeler. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now the Packers going to burn their third. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number to receive. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the line...